they have six dolls but the big quit the burning question is what are these six dolls gonna wear as crystal here and you're probably wondering why i have this strange assortment of dolls here um i've been looking for these fashions and i was able to pick them up so i got five girls here to do a, to try all these different well, hold on. okay let's let's pop her in here so i got six different type body type girls from Mattel that well not six different types but I'll explain to you why that one is in there <laughs> I'll explain to you why one of them has the same top in them and tape in it so we have this model muse body I really love this doll she's fabulous I think she's from the um Barbie basics and then we have this girl from her name guys I have her. I think this is Ava. Ava, I think. This redhead girl, Ava, she is a WWE superstar doll. No, so yeah, I thought she might be kind of cool because I thought she was kind of like this close to the same size as the um, DC superhero girls. So I thought that might be kind of good but then I decided I was gonna put this DC superhero girl on the end in here anyway so I'll have six different dolls so I could just put these outfits on and it'll pretty much be these six different dolls in different body types so you can see what these outfits would fit so I'm like gonna choose which outfit fits which doll best and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna look at that but let me explain further um this doll you may be looking at her body like what's going on here well anyway what's funny about this doll is i was at a yard sale i was like oh i don't need any more dc superhero girl dolls um so i was like no i'm not gonna get her but looking closely i noticed this doll had it was on a made to move body and she was a dollar <laughs> so I was like um I don't need her but I will definitely take her for the made to move body I will rebody her or just get a new head for this I, I'm sure I have a head somewhere that needs a body and that I like and I'll be able to use this body so yeah that is an interesting story and yes I do have two made to move Barbies but with her head I thought she'd be cool with these outfits and you'll understand when I get to this and I'm really gonna be aggravated if these outfits don't fit the DC superhero girls and just body body and just Barbie bodies so we're just gonna say that but Mattel but these are made by Mattel so maybe the outfits will fit that's one thing I thought would be cool okay and then we have this um basic curvy fashionista body purely pinstripe that's her name and then we have another fashionista body I mean another made to move body but she has a darker skin tone and the blonde hair and she's where and she is her normal self yeah I bought this made to move Barbie for five dollars at Goodwill and someone and I asked y'all to name it and somebody named her Harley Maybe it's the fact that I love Harley Quinn. I don't know. But anyway, her name's Harley. And she'll be a nice different skin tone to compare. And then on the end, we have Frost from DC Superhero Girls. She's the only one I could find out of the box. So we have five outfits that these girls are going to be modeling for you. And I'm going to choose which outfit looks best on each doll. And then I'm going to show you. And I am really happy for these outfits. Okay, so I have five outfits. I got the... These are the DC Comic Barbie outfits, guys. Yes, this is the first time I've seen them. But this is the first time I've seen them in person. So I grabbed all of them. I grabbed every single outfit they had. Um, I think they have the smaller packs. But I did not locate any smaller packs. Only seen these big packs. Like the $4.99 packs. 
the more deluxe packs. You know, the other ones were like a little outfit or a little topper or a little jacket or something. Yeah, I didn't find those. So that is the Supergirl inspired outfit right there. I kind of like it. It looks kind of like Supergirl. And then we have Wonder Woman. But I like that one. I love that gold jacket. It's gorgeous. And then we have a Harley Quinn inspired outfit. This one's probably my least favorite. Even though it's Harley Quinn inspired. But I just think Harley Quinn's a little bit flashier. Maybe she would have this bomber jacket instead of these, instead of Wonder Woman. That's all I'm saying. But we can switch these outfits up however we like. And this is one of my most favorites. Look at this. This is like a little a little silver overhaul type skirt with little suspenders and it's a pink little shirt and it says girl power and it's got Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Supergirl on it. So that's just pretty cool. I really like that one. That was my favorite one. The This one and this one is my favorite one. Comment below what your favorite one is and if you like these outfits and you like or you like this type of video please be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so you won't miss a thing. I'm doing this to brighten my day because I had a bad day today. Meaning I filmed a bunch of videos and then I deleted them all. Bam! So, yeah. Totally accident prone. Here. Okay, and then this is the Batgirl. Oh my gosh! It's got little kitty ears! I did not notice that. But I really like this Batgirl one too. I really do, but I don't know if it's going to fit how it necessarily looks in this box. If it fits how it looks in this box, like totally body shaped, it could be cool. We're going to see. So we're going to, um, so I'm just going to start opening these. I'm going to decide who I want to put the outfit on, and then we're going to look up the outfit. So yeah, I'm going to come back and somebody else and somebody's gonna have one of these outfits on them. We're gonna talk about it. And in the end, I'm probably gonna choose who I think would look better in this outfit and we're gonna try it on that one. Okay, so I will be back. There's a our girl Ava in the Batgirl outfit. I love it. I think it looks great on her, although the shirt was a little hard to get on her because it does not velcro down the back. It does not even have any kind of give, so it's kind of like, oh, but, you know. But I think the ears are fabulous. I don't necessarily like what I'm going to call the bat wing shirt. I think it could be a little bit tighter, but I think, and, and I could, and I kept debating on whether this skirt, this stitch should be the front or the back. But the back has like this gathered, what do you call that, um, elastic. So I didn't like that. So as you can see, they stitched this shirt right up down the back, but they did not put Velcro there. Odd. And I think this looks really good on this Ava. And she's a redhead. So us, so redhead girls got to stick together. So she is a Batgirl fan obviously and this is her new outfit obviously I love it and there's her shoes that she come with and there is our WWE girl and I love her comment below you can comment below what your favorite girl is okay this is perfectly pinstripe wearing the Wonder Woman outfit um I guess we're gonna say this is cosplay she's wearing her cosplay outfit and this is the Wonder Woman outfit, and I love it on her. So, like, her name is Perfectly Pinstripes, so she is now Penny. So, Penny looks pretty great in this outfit. The dress went all nice and easy. It's just, like, a little stretchy to it, and I just scooted up right over her body, and it just went all good. The jacket was a little tough, because her arms seemed to... Because these dolls, like, these, these fashionista dolls, arms are kind of pretty stiff, and they don't move good. Um, so yes, it was a little complicated to get that on, but I think this is a perfect outfit for the curvy girl. 
and she has her cuff. She come with one cuff as her accessory, but I think it should have been two cuffs because it is Wonder Woman. And then she come with this little blue lightning purse, which is super cute. The dress is just, it's just like a little slippy summer dress kind of thing. I love the graphic on that with the Wonder Woman picture of her. It's so cool. Okay, so there is Penny wearing Wonder Woman's outfit. And I think she looks great. <laughs> and it's a perfect outfit for her. And here is our made to move Harley wearing her namesake's outfit, Harley Quinn outfit. She's so cosplaying this. It's great. Look at her. I love her. She looks fabulous with this on. Um, the skirt I do not, this skirt I do wish was a little bit more fitted. And when I keep pulling it down, it just wants to pop right back up. <laughs> but I think it looks better like when it's a little bit lower like that. But I don't know. But yes, yeah, she's definitely sh rocking this style, showing us how it can work. Yeah, I love the sunglasses. Um, yeah, I just like it. Super cute. I think this is, but I, and I also think she's a super cute doll. Although she has that gel, that crispy gel hair going on, but I still like her. And also, a lot of people don't mind the made to move, but I don't, I don't think the made to moves part, I don't like think the made to move knees and elbows are that attractive, so, but that's fine. White all right, but yeah, here she is, Harley, wearing Harley, the Harley Quinn. And I think this is perfect for her coloring. So. Okay, and then we have our Barbie Basics, um, Barbie model muse body wearing the Supergirl outfit. I chose her because I think she looks good as Supergirl because they are colored and thing. I mean, if you've ever watched the superhero. The, I mean the Supergirl TV show. She kind of looks like her, well, kind of, but not a lot. But I mean the hair color and stuff work. <laughs> but it, and it looks cool because she looks like a super cool cosplay Supergirl. The the skirt, a uh, little bit, little kind of room in the roomy. Wish it would have been a little bit tighter, but I can see what kind of skirt it is, but. It's great. She looks cool. Look at her. Oh my gosh, I love these outfits. Oh, I love these DC Super out DC Comics outfits. They're fabulous. Dude, this is my favorite outfits that they've made so far. Even with the Mario, I think these are better. These are I like these better than the Mario because there just seem to be more attention to detail with these. You know. Okay, so. We got our girl here, and she is awesome. I love her. Okay, here's Frost wearing what I call our fangirl outfit because it's not like necessarily one character or stylized towards one character. It says girl power, and it's got this really cool silver skirt. It's like this, it's not like a nice material, this skirt. It's like a thicker material. Um, but I do wish that they would have let the overall thing out a little bit because. This looks, because it doesn't, the shirt doesn't like the kind of show in this. Maybe it's just because it's on her. I don't know. This is one of the ones I think I'm going to have to get another doll. I think it suits her way better. If you can see, it fits her greatly. Um, skirt, the skirt's still okay, but this is a, this is a good example of, if you're looking for Maybe an outfit for a little bit bigger doll than a normal Barbie. This is the outfit because it doesn't fit anybody else that well except for her. Maybe it's a little tight on her, but it looks the best out of any of the dolls. I mean, this doll, this outfit wouldn't look good on anybody else, I don't think. Because she seems to have the right height and the right width for this. So, yay, look at Penny. She looks great <coughs> wearing this. She is a super, she is a for real fangirl up in this. And then she has these, and they come with these purple glasses, which I don't really care for because they're a solid color. And then, of course, 
the spike. Um, so yeah, solid, the solid color is kind of like, they're not like see-through or anything, so it's kind of like, meh. But anyway, so this, so this is our final outfit. Well, our final outfit. Yeah, this is our final outfit. Finally. And, hey, yeah, we're going to be back. So there are five very different girls, types of girls wearing our outfits. Um, the Wonder Woman outfit and the one that I call the fangirl outfit definitely fit Kirby better. Um, and one thing I do like about this fangirl one is it's Velcro. I think it's, these are super cute outfits. Um, I think all my girls look super cool wearing them. So yeah, if you like this type of video, Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell and comment below what your favorite outfit is. And also comment below if you think that that fangirl outfit in the middle looks better on the curvy. Just comment and let comment below and let me know. That is all I have for you today. These five fabulous outfits. I that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I had fun. Bye-bye, guys.